Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for bestdebookreaders.com. Today I'm showing you the Nexus 7 FHD versus the iPad Mini 2 and both of these devices are awesome tablets. They get compared a lot if you check blocks, tech blocks. A lot of people want to know which one to go with. Obviously if you have an Android device or have spent a lot of money on Android applications, you probably should go with Nexus 7 or wait for Nexus 10. If you spend a lot of money on iOS, you, you, you know the story. I mean, it's, that's what it is basically. These platforms lock you. Most people don't want to switch after they've spent a lot of money on, let's say, iOS applications or Android applications. If you're just new, then you actually have a choice to choose. You have the option to choose between a closed platform, a very open platform. So those are decisions that you have to sort of weigh in the, as far as the situation you're in. But the iPad mini, obviously you see the numbers, Geekbench numbers, so I'm not going to go into it. You can actually run these yourself. Um, they sort of tell you the story. A7 processor, quad-core processor to optimize for gaming. Pretty slick, actually, the back. And we've covered this in the past. The iPad mini looks a little bit more expensive, and it is expensive, actually. It's 399 and 229 so you, you get a point. You have the buttons. Obviously, you see buttons there. And... Um, the ports are obviously different so you have the lightning port which I actually like I wasn't a fan when it was the first time but now that I think about it I mean the, the last one was actually not really good so uh, it's nice to see that Apple has had to make the change and they did it a lot of people didn't like it but it is what it is so this as far as displays go this is a 2048 to 1536 if I have the number right and that one is so it's a 324 ppi and that one is a 1920 to 1200 so one of them is a retina display and but both of them are actually pretty decent displays obviously the iPad mini we saw the report of display made by the slip the guys at display made that suggested that Kindle Fire HDX 8.9 has a better display and I'm not going to dispute that but I would say is that Kindle Fire 8.9 HDX is not a full Android tablet I mean everyone knows that they have a Kindle they have a Fire OS and um, it's fun it's very compelling for entertainment for gaming whatever it's just not the Android most of us, most of us are used to you can install Google Play apps on it. I'm gonna cover that in a future video. But what I can tell you is, it's just, it's not as easy as it should be. And obviously Amazon doesn't ship these Kindles with Google Play application on them. So something to think about as far as the, these two tablets go, they're both decent and you can't really go wrong and they're both fast. I personally like Nexus 10 and iPad mini too. And the reason is Nexus 10 has a bigger display and I use that for my business. I also you have an iPad Air that we reviewed it a while ago. While that's decent, I usually don't carry multiple iPads with me anyway. So the iPad Air sits at home and this one it fits in my hand and carry it around. The camera is not great, it's decent. Nexus 7, again, a good device for reading books. When I go for, for example, walks and I have to look up quickly something quickly I use Nexus 7 so these all have their advantages and also negatives not everyone's gonna buy multiple tablets obviously so it really comes down to what you want if you all have an Android device if you've spent money on Android or if you don't want to pay $399 for a tablet Nexus 7 is actually pretty decent but if you want to go with a more expensive tablet you already have experience with iOS devices then iPad mini is something worth considering I would also suggest you take a look at iPad Air and we did the comparison of iPad mini 2 and iPad Air so go on check that out I hope you enjoyed this video for more information please go to bestebookreaders.com thanks again for watching guys